Hi, as you saw in the notes, momentum is conserved, which means the momentum you have at the end of a process must equal the momentum you have at the start of the process. Now, this is easier to illustrate if we think about a frictionless situation. So I want you to think about two twins, twin A and twin B, both with ice skates on at the ice rink, standing in the middle of the ice rink. Now, they're motionless to begin with, with their palms pushed up against each other. Now, the initial momentum is zero. They've got the same mass because they're twins. They've both got a mass of m, but they have no velocity. So the momentum at the beginning is zero. Now, suppose twin A pushes twin B away from him. So twin B gets a velocity of v. Right, so we know that the momentum that twin B is going to have is going to be his mass times this velocity v. So if twin A remains stationary, then we'd have an overall change in momentum. We would start with zero momentum and we'd end up with twin B's momentum, mv. But that's not what happens. What actually happens is rather than remaining stationary, twin A also gets a velocity in the opposite direction, minus v. So what we have here is m times minus v, which is minus mv. So if we add the two together, the final momentum of twin A and the momentum of twin B, we have mv minus mv, which is zero. So final momentum equals zero. Okay.